So today we're going to talk about multi-cloud defense and how it can help protect your complex single cloud and multi-cloud environments. And just starting off with highlighting what the problem in the use case that multi-cloud defense really helps with. So fundamentally, we hear through uh, analyst uh, questionnaires that more than 73% of organizations feel that they lack the appropriate visibility to really identify and see where their threats could potentially come from. And from that, 39% of breaches have spanned uh, multiple environments. So if you go back like a decade or so ago, attacks would be against a specific application, and now they're really using it to jump from one to the other, really uh, needing a segmentation story. And finally, only 15% of organizations feel that they're adequately prepared to actually handle and secure their environments in a multi-cloud and hybrid world. So what does this ultimately mean? Gaining deep visibility into your uh, environment, especially when there's encrypted traffic, is really hard. And achieving your consistent and unified security across these environments is also super complicated. You have different cloud environments, different API, uh, pro different tools, different API processes. All of these lead to sort of a patchwork of solutions. And ultimately, breaking down these, solution, these security silos is hard to enable to get you to get this consistent security story. And ultimately, consolidating operations within a single cloud vendor is unlikely. All, almost all enterprises have a multi-cloud and hybrid strategy, and so you need a, you need a uh, tool and a product that can meet that uh, same security premise. And so with that, uh, Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense. Multi-Cloud Defense provides four primary capabilities. Asset discovery and visibility, Egress security, so your basic FQDN filtering, URL blocking, URL categorization, GOIP restrictions, uh, ransomware protection, uh, command and control detection, uh, things like that, all from Cisco's uh, Talos threat feeds. Ingress security, so being able to do basic web application firewalling, basic denial of, secu uh, denial of service uh, security, and basic segmentation, which is really your VPC to VPC segmentation, as well as providing your connectivity across your cloud environments. So how does this actually work? Multi-cloud defense uh, deploys in two ways. One is our SaaS-based controller, which is the top of this diagram. And the multi-cloud defense controller is ultimately what you are inter uh, interfacing with directly. The UI where you create your policy in a cloud agnostic way. And also gives you the visualization, which I'll show in a uh, demo in just a minute, of how your environment is deployed, where it is, what's communicating with what, how your workloads are operating, where are they going out. This is all visualized through the multi-cloud defense controller. And as part of this, in order to help with uh, DevOps deployments, we have uh, rich APIs available through Terraform provider. So for many of you, as you're deploying your cloud infrastructure uh, programmatically through your CI CD pipelines, multi-cloud defense policy can be associated with that. The other part of it is the gateway that's delivered as a platform as a service into your cloud accounts. So irrespective of what cloud environment you have, the gateway can deploy there into your VPC in two models. One is either a uh, centralized model or a distributed model, which allows you to decide, do you want to go uh, closest to your application or do you want to centralize within a VPC? And this relies on uh, capabilities from uh, AWS with the gateway load balancer, transit gateway, uh, uh, Route 53, VPC flow logs to go build and fully manage. And unlike other uh, firewalling solutions, we uh, fully manage the scaling of it, the deployment of it, the upgrade of it. So you only really need to worry about is it next to your application and the policies associated with it. And finally, the last piece of the multi-cloud networking. So um, recently we added the capability of doing cloud connectivity. So being able to uh, securely connect one cloud environment to another cloud environment so that you don't have to create IPsec tunnels or do a lot of other uh, complicated VPC peering. And recently, uh, actually this week, we announced support for AWS CloudWin. So if you have a uh, multi-cloud environment or you have a uh, hybrid uh, environment where you're trying to connect your on-prem uh, your on-prem data center environment into your cloud environment and you want to inject security into that, you can inject multi-cloud defense gateways into that in order to secure your environment. So what does complete visibility specifically mean? So multi-cloud defense onboards into all of your cloud accounts and pulls the VPC flow logs, the uh, Route 53 uh, resolution, and aggregates all this information to help you understand what are your workloads actually communicating with. And as part of this, we then tie it to our Talos threat data so that we can tell you, hey, your workload is communicating with an IP address that is known to be malicious or is reaching out to a URL that we've categorized as uh, malicious or in um, any of the Talos threat categories, and then you can set up a policy to then block it. 
And this allows you to conf confidently place your security controls specifically where you need them and specifically where you want them. The other, uh, the other visibility part about this then is that you can also visualize your entire cloud environment. One of the big challenges that we hear from customers is it's really hard to understand what do I have and where because my developers can go to another cloud region and immediately spin up another set of resources and really the only way that I'm able to see this is my build. And so by onboarding multi-cloud defense into your accounts, you're able to visualize it and it's a really cool uh, topology view that I'll show you in just a second where you're able to very quickly see uh, what you have deployed, where is it, what does it communicate with, and ultimately, how does it work? And this allows you to view all of your assets in one place. So on the uh, hybrid cloud connectivity piece, as I was mentioning, so if you have existing uh, Cisco firewalls in your on-prem environment, um, or if, you, uh, if you're a Cisco shop in general, you can then use multi-cloud defense to establish your cloud-to-cloud -cloud connectivity through the multi-cloud defense gateway, or by uh, connecting to your on-prem uh, cloud environments through ASAs or F FTDs that you may have in the environment. And this really simplifies how you set up the cloud connectivity to manage your environment. So really, Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense helps you in three key ways. One is improved agility. So having a cloud-native design means that, unlike other solutions in the space, because we are taking advantage of the cloud capabilities like auto-scaling and gateway load balancer, AWS Cloud WAN, and other capabilities like this, we're able to match the same level of agility that your application has as you deploy it and as you scale it. You're able to decouple security from the underlying cloud infrastructure. One thing that I'll show you in just a second is the traditional, uh, traditional security model is really around IP-based controls. You're thinking about using CIDR ranges or IPs, but that's not really how the cloud works. The cloud works based on dynamic workloads and using tags to be able to identify and uh, monitor resources and do your billing and all that. And multi-cloud defense aligns with that exactly. You use your tags to identify what your workloads are, and then you also use those tags to apply to your uh, policy. And these are cloud agnostic tags. So if you have a, for example, if you have a production tag, that will apply to all workloads irrespective of where they are, AWS or other cloud providers. And ultimately, multi-cloud defense automates the scaling, provisioning, and upgrading of your security posture. Traditional firewalls, it's a pretty big challenge in order to go through that upgrade process. With multi-cloud defense, we simplify and manage all of that for you with the gateway process. And ultimately, this allows you to reduce your risk. That's really the outcome that customers are looking for. And this, through the continuous enforcement and visibility, you're then able to ensure that your policies are being applied appropriately, you're ensuring that they're uh, working correctly, and they're securing the uh, assets and workloads that are most important to your organization. And ultimately, comprehensive protection. Today in a multi-cloud world, you either have to have a uh, overlay product that uses CIDR ranges and IPs and legacy uh, constructs to apply your policy, or you take advantage of cloud-native capabilities, but enterprises are inherently multi-cloud, which then means you need to have skill set in each of the cloud environments in order to apply these policies uh, correctly. Because multi-cloud defense does this all for you, this gives you comprehensive protection across all of your clouds with inbound, east, uh, outbound, and east-west east traffic uh, in a much simpler way. And finally, lower cost, because now you won't need a specific product for each cloud uh, or a specific skill set for every cloud. You're able to deploy much faster, consolidate all your, secu your security tooling across your cloud environments, and ultimately uh, secure much quicker for your application teams that are looking for security with the automation capability associated with this. You can tie in very closely. And then finally, what's most important to all of you is the consumption model. So instead of a traditional firewall where you're buying a uh, license and you have to commit to it based on the number of firewalls you deploy, multi-cloud defense is by gateway hour. So the number of gateways you got deployed per hour, which automatically scales up and down uh, as your application does. And with that, let me flip over to the product to do a quick demo. Cool, so this is the dashboard. Uh, you'll see this right when you log in, and this is one of our demo environments. Uh, here you can quickly see all of the cloud environments that you have uh, onboarded, what they're doing. You can very quickly identify what are some of the uh, security issues that we're already identifying, and you can click into them. You can customize this dashboard based on what you specifically need. But I'm going to specifically focus on the uh, topology view. So when I talk to customers and do a demo, this is probably the most powerful part of it, being able to really visualize what do you have deployed and where. Now, as mentioning, 
um, we actually, when we uh, worked with a customer doing the proof of concept, they onboarded their cloud account, and they're like, oh yeah, we only use US-based workloads. And then we visualized it for them, and they're like, why do we have something in Dublin? So this really helped them understand uh, and identify where people are deploying things. And this can also help with if a, uh, I've done this myself, I log into my AWS console and I didn't realize what region I was in and I go and deploy a resource and then totally forget about it. This helps you with being able to identify where you may have resources deployed. But for the sake of the demo, the cool part about this is being able to highlight sort of the malicious data and how the workloads go. And so here I've got uh, in US East One, I'm seeing that there's an alert associated with this that's telling me that something is going on in this environment. And so I can click into it and immediately you're starting to see, all right, here is all of my cloud environments that I have in US East One. And this is not uh, by account. So this is actually aggregating all of the accounts that I have that have been deployed in US East One and showing you all of the VPCs and all of that data. And so I can click into one of them to see, all right, what's going on? And here it's now showing you that actual workload topology. It's showing you what's in this VPC, how is it actually, what is its route to the internet, or what is it communicating across with one another, and showing you very quickly that, hey, there's some malicious traffic here, and I can highlight this in my Bastion host, and it's, my Zoom is ruining this, and it's showing you that uh, it's connecting to uh, something identified, oh, I'm going the wrong way, malicious IPs, and so that's sort of the challenge. And, and here, this very quickly, it's super easy then to see this. Uh, it's very graphical, which makes it easy to identify. It's specifically focusing on the outcome that you're looking for, which is very specifically what is the malicious data. And the source of this data is the Talos threat feeds that Cisco is using to identify malicious IP addresses, malicious URLs, um, whatever it may be. And you can then very quickly create a policy to then, uh, I'm read only in this environment, so I can't create a policy. but. Generally, you'd be able to click the button and create a policy, and you would uh, be able to block this traffic very quickly. And so here you can see what exactly is going on, where is it communicating with. Um, oh, you see at the bottom there the tags, and so the tags are really how we're identifying what the workload is, and then ultimately um, how to apply that policy uh, and use the tags for the policy instead of a traditional uh, site or range or IP address. The other thing that I want to highlight is um, with multi-cloud defense, uh, you can get a what we call a, a cloud visibility report. So this allows you to, and this is all free, uh, you can actually go sign up for this uh, today and go onboard your cloud accounts without doing any deployment. So as I was mentioning, the product works in the two ways. The gateways are actually disruptive change because you need to uh, modify your route tables and the product will orchestrate that for you. But to get the visibility and the uh, topology view that I was just showing you doesn't require any deployment, just requires uh, creating a IAM role in your account for us to be able to uh, fetch the appropriate logs. So you can actually get to this without paying for anything, no credit card, nothing, literally just sign up for it. I have a QR code in just a second that will uh, allow you to go sign up for it and go through the process. But this report will show you everything that's going on in your environment on um, whatever time frame you want. And this is a great way to uh, be able to show um, if you've got certain threats that are going on in your environment or seeing that your applications are being accessed by random IP addresses and things like that, you get it very quickly here and this is a good way to then um, prioritize what, uh, what things need to be fixed or how to apply security. And then obviously multi-cloud defense will help with actually deploying the gateway in order to secure your environment after that. Cool, so the next steps here are you can run the cloud visi visibility and risk report. So the QR code will take you to the page to go sign up for it. And then after that, you can actually sign up for multi-cloud defense and see the product. Again, no credit card, nothing you need to do. Just go sign up for it and get started using it. Uh, on everyone's seat, there was also a uh, uh, little card that has a link to our immersion day. We're doing a virtual immersion day in August, August 15th. Um, so sign up for it, no cost to you. You can learn more about the product and. Uh, learn how to deploy it. And that's all I have. Thank you for your time today. And uh, thank you.